Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. This is the last act, and the 11th Horde approaches, and we have a busy day ahead of us, so let's get to work. So the first thing I really wanted to do today is head over to the trader real quick, because uh, yesterday we took the skill point into Better Barter, level 3, which unlocks the Better Secret Stash. So I want to go over real quick and see what he has for sale, and hopefully he has a nail gun, and also what I want to do is uh, we'll bring a sugar butts with us just in case and I don't want to sell anything just yet I'll save that all we'll do it in bulk later on um, I did make a learning elixir last night so we're gonna try to do some mining this morning get some resources so we can craft stacks and then I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of stacks I'm gonna make all the stacks and try to get as much XP as possible so we can get some more skill points speaking of the skill points real quickly we can spend those this morning we have four what I want to go into really badly is one into mother load so that we get more bang for our buck mining today. The rest of them are going to go one into fortitude and then two into iron gut. And that's basically so that buffs from consumables will now last 30% longer. So things like eye candy, sugar butts, and learning elixir will just last that much longer. As well as things like coffee. Speaking of coffee, let's grab some coffee for later. We're going to need that for mining. We get the boost when we're drinking coffee, so that's good to have. Uh, do I need food and water? No, looks like I'm good. All right, let's hit it. Nope, let's not hit it. Let's get the freaking dirt bike. I forgot I had that thing. <laughs> do I have any gas, actually? I do. Okay, good. We'll take that. Ah, Screamer! Where is she? Got her. Nice. Whoop. Biker as well. Good deal. Nice. Wow, we're gonna need a garage here pretty soon. Ooh, there we go. We got the dirt bike. Let's fuel it up and we'll put the gas away. Let's see how this goes. Oh, <laughs> it's so fast. I love it. Nice. You. Get away from my friend. What do you seek, friend? I seek a nail gun. Tell me you have one in here somewhere. I've already been through the regular inventory. It's not in there. Uh, we have the new secret stash, though. What do we got here? Ooh, bellows. I'll take those. Uh, weapon flashlight mod schematic, don't mind if I do. Uh, structural brace mod, I'm pretty sure I can craft those at this point. A pistol peep book, I'll take that. And ooh, there we go, nail gun, got it. And do you have a turret? Ooh, yes you do. Uh, shotgun turret though, not exactly what I want, but um, it, it's better than nothing. I'll take one for now. Uh, that'll be something I put on the roof like later on to shoot at birds. Might as well hit up the other vending machines while we're right over here. Holy cow, this thing is fast. It's so fast, I can't even load the tiles in without getting big lag spikes. Ooh, eye candy. Ooh, skull crushers. Nice. And a couple dog foods. That'll be good so we can craft some more learning elixir. Yeah, the fun pimps have talked before about not wanting to make the vehicles too fast because it does affect game performance because you just you can't load in like POIs and tiles that quickly but we are going to get the supercharger mod with alpha 20 which will give you a 10% boost it'll be like a college jacket for cars yeah nothing in that one eye candy sugar butts and I've been thinking about the whole nerd tats thing and getting I think I have a quality 5 stun baton unless I've sold it already but uh, that, if I can get a repulsor mod, that might be something fun to play around with on Horde Night. Holy cow, I'm going too fast. Whoa, jeez, this thing is crazy. Yep, so I just wanted to stop by here real quick, and we've got uh, some zombie Karen over here. There's a uh, coal mine right over here locally, so... Whoa, good. Uh, we can juice up and start our mining adventure right in here. Okay, let's read these couple of books. We will eat a Rockbusters... And we will drink some coffee. Okay, that will do it. The nerdy glasses are on. Let's dig. All right, that is the 6,000 cold that we need. Can I get out of here? Ah, easy, easy. Okay, where's the bike? All right, we're gonna head just over here, and I know there's an iron node. I was here the other day, and I saw it. Uh, where specifically was that, though? 
Well, I know it's right around here somewhere. Just take some of this wood while I'm at it. Oh, I found it. All right, this should give us a little bit of iron and then we'll just have to find some nitrate a little later. Oh my goodness, that's nitrate right there. Hey, there we go, we got a new skill point. And one little hot tip for you that I often forget myself is that you actually will generate less heat if you crouch while you are mining. So, and that goes for the auger as well as the steel pickaxe or any tool for that matter. Whenever you break a block and you're sneaking, you generate less heat. So if you're worried about screamers coming in, just kind of sneak down, crouch down, and you should be good. So we've got 6,000 nitrate now, we've got 6,000 coal, 6,000 stone, and we I have some more iron, so we'll have 6,000 iron. Now let's head home. I'll gulp down a learning elixir and we'll just craft stacks for the next hour or so. All right, give me up the rest of the irons. We, um, we can put some of this crap away. Kinda should probably get this running as well, and uh, I should probably cancel that. I'll put the bellows in here because that gets smelting speed up, and I think we need to smelt stone the most right now. Okay, so without further ado, I think we're ready. I have the nerdy glasses on. I'll drink the learning elixir. That'll give us more than four minutes because we took all those points into iron gut. But 20% XP gain plus the XP gain from the lucky glasses or the nerdy glasses, which was plus 10%. So we're gonna get plus 30% on top of the already. Uh, plus, I think, 300% that we have just in from the settings. And we, we should be getting, like, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of XP. So, let's do it. Nine seconds per sack. Let's see how many we can get. And once the stacks are done, we just open them back up. And the cycle continues. The thing with crafting stacks is that you get diminishing returns. Now we got 70 something thousand on the first, 35,000 on the second, and it will like be reduced by 50% every time you do it. And it's it's the same for each resource. So the, I can also craft stacks of oil shale and wood, and we can uh, go ahead and do that at some other time, lead as well. So we'll do another round of this later on, but um, you know, you can only get the 70,000 from a stack of iron once. Let's get back on track here. We'll open these all back up and craft them all again. All right, we're at the point now where we're getting like just above 10K per pop here, 14K. So I think what I'll do real quickly is I do need to get some, um, what's it called, red tea or chrysanthemums. So let's go pick some flowers so I can make more red tea. That's the limiting factor right now to craft more um, learning elixir. And I left the dirt bike on the hill over here. All right, that should hold us over. Cannot get over how fast that thing is, it's crazy. All right, I think we are good on the XP farming for now. Let's open up this stack, get this smelting into the forge so we can make some more cement. We'll take the cement that we have and get that crafting. Looks like I can get about like 725 in each of these. Get more radiators going into this forge here and we'll craft out all of the bullet casings and the bullet tips, all 18 of them. <laughs> all right, with all that nitrate and coal that we just got, I'm gonna go ahead and start crafting gunpowder. It takes a long time to craft this. Unfortunately, we don't have access to the chem station just yet, but eventually we'll be doing that. So it's, it's much more efficient that way, but we need some right now. I'd like to, um, whoops, gotta get the cobblestone. I'd like to get some bullets crafting, and I would also like to, with one of those skill points that we just got, take a point into Demolitions Expert so I can start crafting pipe bombs as well. Speaking of that, just uh, give me the gunpowder, give me the pipes, give me the grass, and uh, give me all the pipe bombs I can get and reset that gunpowder. We'll get that going afterward. Good. All right, I've got some materials now. We've got a lot of repair work and upgrading work to do. I know it's late in the day, but I think we, we have some spare time. I don't want to go out raiding today. This is just going to be a base improvement type of day. So let's get some repairs and some work done around here.
More skill points. Goodness, I can't keep up with these things. All right, that is it for the cement for now. Whoop. Uh, so I think we'll head up here and we'll do some woodwork. I think I made some good progress today. I'm going to put uh, most, if not everything, away. In fact, I'm just going to put it into the dump chest real quick, and I'll go through it a little bit later. For now, let's get geared up for the horde. Okay, that should be everything I need. Now I want to take... Oh, shit, I got to upgrade those. Um, or I have to repair them, rather, if I want to move them, which I do. All right, damn, real quickly here, I should not have probably delayed this so long. I just want to move these down a block for tonight. Whoa, no, 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 no. Get up here. Get your ass over there, okay? Get the wire tool. Hook these damn things up real quick. I'm wondering if putting them down a block is going to solve the problem that we had last night. If it doesn't, I'm going to replace the blocks. Uh, the, the pillars with the pillar 50 block, and I think there's a wandering friggin' horde outside. Turn this on, put that away, give me the frames back, and I think we're good, my friends. The horde is almost upon us. Arlene clogging up the friggin' hole already. Arlene loves filling those holes, doesn't she? Yeah, if I had to say, preliminary report here, I think that the, the movement of the blade traps down a block has helped out quite a bit. They are quite active. We'll see how it goes throughout the night. And I'm friggin' out of stamina. Give, where's the coffee? All right, I'm gonna slurp down three coffees and we'll start busting some kneecaps. Starting with you, Arlene! Oh, hey, we got a soldier zombie. I haven't seen one of those guys for a while. That's kind of refreshing. One of the sort of side effects of this mod is that all of these like various zombies that have different clothing and different gore and stuff like that, they represent a new zombie. And so when the, the Horde Knight is like randomly picking zombies to spawn, it's just weighted really heavily towards the ones that have been modified because uh, there are like, I don't know, 12 variations of Big Mama and 12 variations of the janitor and, and all those zombies. So uh, guys like the soldier or the businessman or the nurse, they're going to spawn less frequently. Uh, at least until the the creator of that mod uh, makes some variations for those ones. What are you doing? Get out of here! Oh yeah, things are getting a little heated here now. Lots of like high hit point zombies that are armored. All right, kneecaps. Yeah, those blade traps are definitely doing the trick now. Uh, I guess it remains to be- Oh, give me that loot. It remains to be seen. Five beer, I'm telling you. Every time I open a loot bag for the first time in an episode, it's friggin' five beer. But yeah, I don't know if we're gonna need to make the change to the wood pillar, or, you know, the pillar 100, the, the double-sized one. Um, I would like to do it simply to get the zombies, like, a little bit higher. Like, in elevation, that is. Um, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll give it a try tomorrow.
Ooh, five skill points. Holy cow. Uh, one thing I wanted to do, I have the one javelin with me right now, but give me the other javelin as well, and I just want to try these out. Yeah! Oh, right in the face. Give me that back, please. Or just fall down. Yep, give me that. Nice. And have another one. Oh, right in Big Mama's chest. And uh, she fell down. She'll be back. Well, let's try the other one here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I think I killed her. So that one might not be coming back. Give me the javelin. Who has the javelin? Can I have... Hello? Come back here. Oh, we got a feral Arlene here. Of course it's Arlene. All right, I got one of the javelins back. I don't see the other one. It probably despawned. Oh, there we go. Yep, come on up here, janitor javelin head. Did I get it? I got it. Okay, let's do it again. In the... In the knee. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I missed. And that's kind of the end of that for a little while. All right, guns! Whoa, so far so good. Just making some repairs here. Kneecap, nice. Oh, I cannot wait for Alpha 20 when the gore, like the gib system is it. Arlene, you damn son of a bitch. Yeah, that gib system is gonna be really exciting because you're gonna be able to like knock their heads off and like expose their brains and knock limbs off. So there's just gonna be like arms and legs kind of scattered around everywhere. I want to have a quick peek at these uh, blade traps. Ooh, blade traps are going to break here eventually. I think they're in the perfect position now. That was the trick. We just had to kind of lower them. I actually want to come and fight from this end for a while. So uh, you can kind of see how the base is going to be laid out here in the future. And I'm going to put some bars in here probably. Ah, just so that shit like this doesn't happen. Ah! You bastard. Give me that loot before it despawns. Hey, some money. Yeah, they're breaking all my rebar frames. No big deal. That's why I crafted 300 of them. Yeah, so you can see now th how the blade traps are hitting them a lot better because instead of their heads being at the bottom corner level, their heads are now at, like, the the side level. Ah, there's just no knockdown power on this thing. It kind of sucks. We'll use the shotgun, then. Oh, more loot in my face and an Arlene clogging up the doorway. What's new? Yeah, the, the shotgun is great here, but this, the pellets end up going beyond the zombies and damaging the blocks out back there. I thought about putting some bars up there so that the bullets would just go straight through and, and hit whatever's across the street there, but the only problem with that is that the doggo's sign is also right on the other side of that wall, so I don't want, I want to kind of maintain the, the natural feel of the building. So I want to keep the sign, and that means I'm going to have to basically fortify that wall and just keep it as a backdrop. God, shotgun is just devastating, though. Talk about stopping power. Man, you just, like, hold up the whole column of zombies that are coming up the stairs with one shot. I have six skill points to go through, and uh, I just want to get my javelin real quick. Can I just do some repairs here real fast so I'm not completely ruining everything? Yeah! Oh, right in the ass! Good shot! Uh-oh, they're breaking stuff. I heard something break. Get back, Bo! Oh, damn it. Alright, the blade traps are broken. Both of them. Okay, how much steel do I have? I have 42 on me. We can get a couple of them fixed up a little bit. 
I think it's worthwhile to keep them running. They're doing a little bit of damage here and there. Come here, janitor. Give me that damn javelin back. Thank you. And how about you have one? Ooh, right in the collarbone. I think I heard a dog, so watch out for that. Haven't seen too many dogs, honestly. Probably another symptom of this mod that kind of replaces many other zombies. Here he is, right here. Right into the, the hole where he's supposed to be. So the three coffee that I drank earlier is about to expire. And that's pretty good because Iron Gut is giving me plus 30% on those. So instead of lasting like, um, how much is it? It's five minutes? Oh, three minutes. So instead of lasting nine minutes, they're lasting something like uh, 12 minutes. Can we get one more skill point tonight? Let's try. Here's that dog. Whoop, he fell down. Only about a half an hour left. Damn, they're still coming like really quickly too. Okay. All right, things are pretty quiet. It's only 3.43. Uh, any more zombies? One more Karen. Good, kill her, and I think that is it for the horde. Let me turn off- oh, no, I hear one more. I'll turn this off so I can hear things a little bit better. There we go. Any more zombies? One more. Good night. Very nice. I think that is it. Oh, look, my javelin. Give me that. Hello? Give me. Uh, I don't see the other one. Uh, oh, no, here it is. Oh, cool. Got my javelins back. Good deal. All right, as is custom, get the loot and candy. And there's the morning bell as well. I'll just kind of get things organized a little bit before we can loot. Okay, lucky goggles on and looting candy in. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, and another skill point. Wow, and have a look at this, guys. Okay, we got the iron helmet. That's good. I'll be wearing that in a minute. But look at this. Is this a claymore? Yeah. Oh, what is this as well? JNG90 schematic. Some kind of a sniper rifle, looks like. So I'll read that. We've got the muffled connectors mod schematic and a treasure map. Uh, but I, I can't read that because I already have one active. But have a look at this. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Oh man, this is it's got to be a bladed weapon, right? So we'd have to spec into knives to like benefit from this, but um really cool. And what quality was that? Just a quality 1, only worth 49 dukes. I think I will probably smelt it. Um how long is it going to take to smelt? 18 minutes. That must be just right full of iron, like thousands of iron. That's what I'm kind of finding with this mod is that when you smelt some of these things down, they have just an unreasonable amount of iron, but <laughs> whatever. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, the horde has been dispatched and we can finally call it a night. I'll get this place all cleaned up and we'll start making preparations for the next horde later in the morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who helped grow and shape this channel. My name is Temreki, and I hope that I've earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.